Look at a map of Norway, and it might seem like a peaceful stretch of land tucked into northern Europe. But this country, with its mountains, icy glaciers and endless fjords, tells a very different story. Nearly half of Norway's population lives in the south, clustered around the capital Oslo. Yet much of the country's beauty and its challenges lie farther afield. Those famous fjords, while stunning, make getting around a logistical puzzle. Take a journey from Kristiansand in the south to Trondheim in the north. It's a 21-hour trip involving seven ferry crossings. Now, imagine cutting through all that natural complexity with something so bold, so ambitious, that it's captured the world's attention. Norway is building a mega-project like no other, one that promises to change how its people connect with each other and with the land itself. So, what is Norway up to and why is the world watching? Let's dive into the story. Norway, often referred to as the Northern Way, sits on the northern edge of Europe, far removed from the bustling crossroads of the continent. This geographic isolation has allowed its people to preserve a remarkable cultural unity over the centuries. While small immigrant communities, primarily from Southeast Europe and South Asia, have made their home around Oslo in recent decades, Norway's population remains predominantly Nordic, bordering Sweden, Finland and Russia to the east, and flanked by the Barents Sea, Norwegian Sea, and North Sea to the west and north. Norway is a land shaped by its rugged geography and ancient roots. Beneath its striking fjords and mountains lies the Fenoscandian Shield, a bedrock formation over a billion years old, composed of resilient granite and metamorphic stone forged under intense heat and pressure. But the west coast of Norway, home to countless fjords and dramatic landscapes, presents some of the most challenging terrain for travel. Here, driving isn't just slow, it's unpredictable. Snowstorms, fierce winds and high waves often force roads to close and ferries to cancel. Currently, the 21-hour journey between Kristiansand in the south and Trondheim in the north relies on seven ferry crossings, making it a test of patience and endurance. But Norway is tackling this problem head-on with a world-first engineering marvel, the coastal highway route E39. This groundbreaking project will replace those ferries with a seamless network of bridges, tunnels and submerged floating tube bridges, cutting travel time in half. The ambition is unprecedented, and so is the price tag, over 47 billion but the potential rewards are just as staggering. When we think of legendary highways, iconic names like Route 66, the Pacific Coast Highway, or Germany's Autobahn come to mind. Norway, however, is about to join that exclusive club, the coastal highway Route E39, part of the European road network, will transform into a continuous route connecting Trondheim in the north to Kristiansand and Oslo in the south. Once completed, travelers will be able to drive uninterrupted along Norway's dramatic coastline, stopping in major cities and towns along the way. Today, the E39 is a fragmented path interrupted by deep fjords, requiring ferries to bridge the gaps. Within the next 30 years, that will all change, thanks to innovative engineering solutions like floating tunnels, as of now, only 11% of the project is complete. According to Tora Askeland, the E39 project manager, progress will likely focus on areas with the greatest socio-economic impact. Norway's western coast already generates around 60% of the country's export value. By creating a smooth and reliable connection across this region, the project is expected to unlock massive economic potential providing a boost not only for Norway as a whole, but also for the coastal communities that will become far more accessible. Furthermore, Norway's ambitious vision for its West Coast highways has also brought engineers face to face with one of the most formidable challenges of modern construction, crossing some of the world's deepest and most weather-exposed fjords. 
Traditional solutions like suspension bridges or floating bridges are not feasible in many locations. For fjords over 100 meters deep or spanning more than two or three kilometers, these methods become impractical due to engineering and environmental constraints. Rock tunnels, another common approach, would require extensive land use along the shores, making them equally unsuitable. Enter the Submerged Floating Tube Bridge, SFTB, a revolutionary concept that's being considered for these deep and treacherous waters. Unlike surface-level structures, the SFTB would sit underwater at a depth of 20 to 50 meters, where it avoids the brunt of waves, currents and weather. Anchored to the seabed by tethers or supported by surface pontoons, the tube balances stability and efficiency while allowing ships to pass freely above. By staying submerged, it sidesteps the harsh forces that make conventional bridges vulnerable in such extreme environments. Although the SFTB feels like cutting-edge innovation, the idea dates back much further than you might expect. The first recorded concept was proposed in 1886 by Sir James Edward Reed, a British naval architect. In Norway, interest in the idea has been ongoing since 1923, but it's the recent studies by the Norwegian Public Roads Administration for the E39 project that have brought it closer to reality. What's even more fascinating is how this concept is sparking global collaboration. Norway is now in talks with several other nations considering similar designs. While the race to build the first submerged floating bridge isn't necessarily competitive, it's thrilling to imagine which country will take this engineering leap first. A project of this scale demands the expertise of countless specialists, and fortunately, it has them. From safety analysts and materials scientists to environmental planners and structural engineers, the Coastal Highway Route E39 is a multidisciplinary effort unlike any other. But crossing Norway's fjords present unique obstacles that require groundbreaking solutions. As Tore Askeland, a key figure in the project, explains, the Sulafjorden crossing is the toughest due to the harsh environment near the Atlantic Ocean. At the heart of the challenge is the need to bridge these vast fjords, many of which are too deep for traditional support pillars and too wide for conventional suspension bridges. Suspension bridges are ideal for spans under two kilometers, but Norway's fjords demand something far more ambitious. Engineers are no strangers to floating structures like offshore platforms, but building bridges that are long, slender and able to withstand relentless wind and waves requires a completely different approach. These structures must be resilient, designed to handle constant stress without succumbing to fatigue, all while staying cost-effective and minimizing environmental impact. The fjord crossings are, without a doubt, the most exciting part, Tor says. Each crossing needs a solution tailored to its unique conditions. Smaller ones can use existing technology, but for the largest crossings, we're pushing the boundaries of what's possible, expanding the limits of known technology to create something entirely new is a tremendous challenge and an incredible opportunity. This ambitious project is setting records with its groundbreaking designs, featuring some of the world's firsts, largest and longest structures. Among them is a planned five-kilometer floating bridge across Björnafjorden, alongside what could become the world's longest cable-stayed bridge. Another highlight is the Rogfast Tunnel, which will connect Stavanger to Bergen by piercing through the formidable Boknafjord and Kvitsoyfjord, a watery expanse that currently requires a lengthy ferry ride to cross. Stretching 26.7 kilometers with a maximum depth of 392 meters below sea level, this tunnel will be the deepest and longest subsea road tunnel ever built. Once completed, it will slash travel times by 40 minutes. Featuring a four-lane dual tunnel design and an estimated cost of 1.6 billion, the ROGFAST is scheduled to open in 2026, with tolls in place for the first 20 years of operation. But designing such infrastructure comes with unique challenges. 
safety is paramount and engineers are running scale tests for fires and explosions, simulating worst-case scenarios like a truck carrying hazardous materials igniting within the tunnel. They're also considering external threats, as these fjords double as training grounds for the Norwegian Navy, making ship and submarine collisions a potential risk. The Coastal Highway Route project has brought together some of the brightest minds in the Nordic region. Collaborating with three top universities, the Norwegian University of Science and Technology, the University of Stavanger, and Chalmers University of Technology, around 50 PhD candidates are tackling the project's engineering challenges. Their research doesn't just benefit this monumental highway, but has far-reaching implications for global infrastructure. The team is committed to sharing their findings, ensuring the lessons learned here contribute to advancements worldwide. As Norway takes on the largest infrastructure project in its history, the world watches in awe. What once seemed like a dream is becoming a reality, piece by piece, redefining what's possible in modern engineering. What are your thoughts on this groundbreaking mega project? Share them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated on more incredible stories. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.